Blanket Metalworks, April 20th, 2018. This is a uh, 15V at 68 Rockwell, and it's a, a burnt trout. The um, sharpening angle is 18, I mean 15 degree per side with 18 degree uh, micro bevel. Uh, at BMT extra fine and the same sharpening geometry for this S125V at 66 Rockwell and a little burnt trout here it's very thin and this thing both of these things this thing behind the edge thickness of, of the uh, 15 V it's about 6,000 of an inch and this is about six and a half or seven thousand of an inch so they are very so that's why you can hardly see the sharpening bevel because it's that thin. And uh, both start out fairly sharp. It's windy, so I this way. And this is uh I got the hardball here, it's fairly thick. And this S135 is to have a little bit more gold color to this core. The teeth. through well, this is a half inch rope okay I mean I can get don't want to make too big of a mess the thing is uh, it's very thin angle and this cutting board here been outdoor for a long time so the surface is for silicate or sand grid. And go back to a quick Well, because the edge so thin, they're not much, it's not very strong, so not going to do crazy with it. And this is more of a prosumer or for the uh, one that uh, very technical user, so you know, we'll take it to a certain extent of testing. Right? And this is a uh, cooked chicken backbone. And let me see him in frame. Okay, they're going to be somewhere in the middle. Okay, that they get middle bone, and this is some part here. And I'm just going to to look like that okay so well I guess I better test it and see even though they have a little bone notice I do a uh, presser cut so I don't think it's a problem with that okay so I think okay that is some sort of uh, uh, um, tie or not, I don't think a tie, maybe something. Anyway, it's a wing near the body or something. So I'm going to be uh, right there. And the saddle. <laughs> and this is a 15V. And that is our pressure baton so that I can go through quickly. And 
hopefully I make sure I don't bang the knife against each other. Otherwise, it's unwanted damage. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So, I got work glove because this is a raw piece of pork rib bone. And we look at which end I want to widow. And so, if you are, say, they burn trout, and if you were doing, do things that have bone contact, and I'm not going to chop to the bone, I just go to, uh, say, you do something and you end up, and this is a 15V, okay, make sure I don't, okay, there you go. I'm going to press down and do this motion, so pressure, cut, so therefore some lateral reflection, but not much uh, else. That is bone shaving off. That, the 15V, going to do it. Again, they are pressure cut. So, not twisting, not do anything, slide pressure. Okay, and this is a S125V. When you do what, say, fish bone, are going to be, if you cut to a head or spine or something, if you do, this is pressure cut. Uh, pork bone definitely going to be harder than, than fish bone. So, all right, I think that's sufficient. I mean, that more than just a regular bone contact. So, now we'll let's test the edge. Oh, let's take a look at it it's real quick. All right. Okay, here you go. I have some food there. That's okay. Oh, I just got to turn it. I know the focus may not be there. That's 15V. This is 125V. And you can have a close view at the... Okay. A little bit. Back to the... Uh, and I will cut it around this area. So I'm going to slow slide to it and see if it snag this phone book paper. I'm cutting 45 degrees, slicing, it's not pushing, I'm slicing, I'm using the carbide going to be the cutting, also the edge, it's DMT extra fine, so it's not a 12 micron uh, mesh, so, and this is the 15V, that was 125. No problem. Right, thanks for watching.